Welcome. Namaste, ladies and gentlemen, to day 19. I'm super excited to be here with you and we have been here for 19 days. And before we get started, just a friendly little reminder, if you like this video, be sure to hit that like button. It helps us push this video out to more people so we may help more people. Subscribe to this channel and we're excited to release day 20 tomorrow. So if you hit that notification bell, you'll be right there with us on our 45 day journey. With that, let's get started here today. Get into a comfortable position. You can do this anywhere, outside, inside, at your desk and so forth. I'm here and I'm not uh, using a mat or a pillow or anything, but feel free to use a cushion or a pillow. I want you to be as comfortable as you possibly can. So the first acupressure point has made us Instagram famous. I think that video got about 13 million views. So what I want you to do is go to the forehead and where the hair meets the forehead in the midline of the face. And I want you to run your fingers through to both nostrils. So we'll do it again through the midline of the forehead where the hair meets the forehead and we're gonna run through and hit both nostrils. Now this is such a nice point. It's very relaxing and in addition to being very relaxing, it also brings blood flow to the pelvic floor. As we've talked about in many videos time and time again, why is this important? Well, if we are training the body to tone the pelvic floor, then you're gonna have more control over the pelvic floor, which will give you longer duration and stamina in the bedroom. And that's the desire of this video for both men and women. Now, while we're doing a lot of the acupressure, just another reminder is to do an asana. This asana, I want you to really get in the habit of doing while you're doing the acupressure. It's so simple and so beautiful and very effective. What I want you to do is while you're doing this acupressure point, I want you to contract the pelvic floor for three seconds. I want you to lift the pelvic floor for three seconds. And then I want you to rest and release for three seconds. That asana combined with the acupressure is a doubling effect. It's called the guiding technique in Chinese medicine. So I want you to do that and start with three second intervals and work your way up to 30 second intervals. But I want you to be very comfortable while doing that. Another thing that you can do while you're doing the acupressure along with the asana to contract, lift and release the pelvic floor is I want you to feel a connection between the top of your body to the bottom of your body and imagine a ray of light or blood flow from your vertex of your head all the way to the bottom of the pelvic floor. They've actually done studies on this, MRI reports and research that when you visualize that blood flow, it actually happens. So if you can do that along with the asthana and the acupressure, you'll get triple the effect and you'll really be able to control and tone the pelvic floor to the desired effects. Very, very good. So the next point is an acupressure point. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and touch the nostrils and we're going to press to your comfort all the way to the ears in that way. This is a great acupressure point because this area governs not only the pelvic floor, but it also covers the reproductive organs. So ladies, this acupressure point is so helpful in helping with period cramps. It can help regulate a cycle. It can help with ovulation. And gentlemen, this can also help you with sperm quantity and quality and so forth. And of course, can help you to last longer in the bedroom. This is such a wonderful acupressure point. In fact, it's a wellness point in addition to helping with lasting longer and also reproduction needs. This acupressure point can also help many aspects of the abdomen, such as constipation, diarrhea, 
gas, bloating, water retention. Such a brilliant point, and it's very, very relaxing. Not to mention the upward motion that I'm doing can also help with maintaining that beautiful glow, and not only glow, but helping with the lymphatic massage of your face. So this is such a great point for wellness and beauty as well. Now, a lot of times during these sessions together, we talk about diet therapy and things that you can be doing to helping yourself and helping your body to work more optimally. One thing I want to mention from what I've seen from patients and so forth is do your best to be mindful of the plates and cups that are using. What I mean by that is if you're using a lot of plastics, be sure to see if you can switch to glassware. Especially for the gentlemen, there's been some research that certain plastics have estrogen compound properties that can negate the testosterone in the body. So if you want more satisfying results in the bedroom, I want you to consider switching from plastics to glass to help you along the way so it help you to live the cleanest lifestyle so your body can work more optimally. Now the next is actually an asana. It is knees to chest. And so I'm going to do it on the floor without a mat or a pillow, but I want you to be comfortable while doing it. So if you need to use an acupressure mat or a yoga mat, feel free to do that. And let me show you how I do it and do your best to do that. Now, if it's uncomfortable for you, then I want you to consider doing another acupressure point, maybe one of the two that we did together just now for two minutes, or you can swipe it out with any of the other acupressure or asanas that we have done. So this is done in more of a lateral view, but what I want you to do is put your knees together and then I want you to lay back and then you're going to move your knees to your chest as best as you can. And then you're going to go ahead and put your hands together as close as you can. This is such a great acupressure point. It not only helps with the pelvic floor, but it can also help with various constipation and bloating. And do your best to do this for the next 30 seconds. Start with 30 seconds and work your way up for the next two minutes. Now, all of these recommendations, all of these tips are in addition to the recommendations of your doctor. So I urge you to please see your doctor and follow the advice that he or she gives you and not to replace it with this. What your doctor says comes first priority. And the, also the other thing I want to mention is we offer course materials to get the full effect of this course. I want you to do your best to go to the description in the YouTube channel and email us and we'll be happy to send you the course materials. So you, I want you to have the best results from this. So I'd love to do that for you. So allow me to do that. Just send us your email. And then again, we're getting a lot of questions. How often do we do this? What sequence to do and so forth? What I would recommend is that you do a sequence three times a day. You can do this two more times before day 20 gets released, or you can do this and then choose maybe day 13 or day nine, whatever you want, but get in the habit of doing a sequence three times a day so you get the desired results. Most patients get the results that they desire within a couple of months, and of course, work with your physician and do your best to have as best of a clean lifestyle, all the diet tips and all the things that we present in this series. So I hope that was wonderful. I feel really great and I hope you do too. And I'm excited for you to be here with me on day 20. I'm so honored that you've chosen me to help you and stay consistent with you. And I wish you a great day and night wherever in the world that you are and see you here tomorrow for day 20.